climbing whenever i talk about climbing to people that don't do it it's like they just phase out and it's just not that interesting hey Pay attention. Okay, listen. Video games. You're a gamer, right? There's climbing in video games. Nathan Drake, Kratos, Link, my Sims 4 character. They all are epic climbers. I always joke that bouldering is the most video game type of exercise. And the more I think about it, it actually is. Flashy colors. Someone even has RGBs. Gamers love RGB. Really gay butts. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Uh, what was I talking about? <laughs> There's even different grades with different difficulties. It's been a year since I started bouldering for the very first time. So I wanted to share my progress with you guys because that's what I do on this channel now. Progression videos. Yay. This all actually started from you guys. You are the culprits. That was a Reddit post that said, try bouldering. Japan is so ducking good at bouldering and I wholeheartedly believe you'll be a natural at it. Who would have thought Reddit changed my life? <laughs> Here I am a year later and I love it. I mentioned this uh, to my friend Connor and he was like, yeah, we should go. Let's, there's a ton of great places. And immediately I was sucked in for the reasons I mentioned. Flashy colors, RGB. <laughs> it's just fun to climb. Everyone loves climbing, okay? But there were some climbs that I couldn't do. So I know I wanted to come back again to really try them when I'm not as tired and thus I was sucked in forever because that cycle just rinse and repeat <laughs> pretty much for, until now so let's check out the pro epic progression here's me trying the actual lowest grade for the first time v0 or uh goku in Japanese rating pretty good Back then, you had to wear masks at the gym. So that's a fun reminder for you, all of you. I don't know what you're thinking. Why don't you just climb it? How hard can it be? It's hard. It's hard. I'm basically touching nothing there. It's like climbing air, water, it's flying. Okay, warning. Jump scare in three, two, ah, uh, too late. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Oh god, get rid of it, disgusting. Basically, since I already work out, I felt like I could try stuff that was above my skill because I could just power through it. But my hands could not. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> Moving on to March, I climbed my very first V0. Japan is kind of notorious for having grading things a bit more difficult. Uh, and this gym, at least, I think is no exception. But I was very proud that I was able to do it. And I remember when I got to the end, I was so I was so scared. <laughs> I know I'm barely off the ground, but okay, but it was scary. I'm 34. If I fall, I will hurt myself. I'm an old man. I realized once I was up there that I have to put my leg on that big round thing. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to do it. But I didn't want to do it because I felt so scared I was going to fall. And you can really see it on my shaky ass legs. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. V0. Let's go. Moving on to April. This is Gold Q, which is V2. Starting to move my body a bit more. When you start off, you tend to just be kind of static on the wall. So I don't know. There's some progression there. It's fun for me to look back at these because uh, at the time it was so difficult. I have to put my whole heart and soul into that climb. But now I feel like, yeah, I will do that so easily. <laughs> I started to try and do more body weight exercises at home just because it's kind of fun to change out a bit as well. Here I'm doing weighted pull-ups. Um, it's about... 500 kilos or something like i don't remember it's pretty good and in may i was able to climb an even higher grade again this was my very first young q which is v2 or v3 uh one of the staff members was looking at me and i got a little hooray after eh? <laughs> it's kind of shameful to admit just how happy it makes me when someone encourages you to, for a climb because in in japan there's a you probably heard it in animes there's a word for encouragement which is gambatte so a lot of times people yell gamba uh, for short uh, to support each other when they're climbing and it's so i love how it's such a social sport and and uh Whenever you get a gamba, you gotta try your hardest. And yeah, I was stuck on V2 for a very long time, and but I was able to climb them more and more consistently and uh, just feeling more confident overall. But I think, you know, I tend to just do these kind of overhangs because that's what I was good at. I can rely less on technique and, and more just sheer strength. But this was my all-time favorite 
moment for me in climbing. I didn't get it on video. This is just me climbing it. But basically one of the staff members was trying to help me, but uh, they weren't super good. So they couldn't really show me how to do it. There was an older person there with gray hair. And I love to see just like how many old people actually still climb and exercise. He was really strong, but this was an overhang. So he didn't want to show it. So he grabbed a younger guy that was really good. And he was like, hey, should show this guy how to do it. So he did. And I was like, oh, OK, uh, it's basically this one here. I didn't understand how to grab it because it's this way. But I'm hanging this way. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> so you basically have to flag your leg out and I don't it, no one cares. The point is, I just said, OK, you showed me. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thinking they would leave. But they stuck around to see me actually try it and uh, I couldn't do it. So I said, thank you. <laughs> you can go now. I'm kind of awkward and introverted, so uh, I felt kind of weird. But no, they stayed still. <laughs> And the last chance they all were cheering me on, I got all the gambate and then when, once I was able to do it, they were all cheering me on, applauding and uh, I don't know, it's such a small thing, but it just made me so happy. <laughs> This is so nice. It feels a bit cringe admit saying this part out loud, but I, I don't know. I just wanted to kind of share why it's more than just climbing, I guess. Next month, I did this jumping one and I couldn't do it. The ending was just so difficult. And I guess that's just part of bouldering, you know, you're not going to be able to do all of them. And it can be kind of embarrassing or you feel stupid, like trying the same things over and over and you can't do it. You get more tired, but that's just part of the game, you know? <laughs> and at this point I was bouldering maybe once every week. I wasn't super into it, to be honest, in the beginning, because I was more into surfing. But then... <laughs> this guy just showed up. Huh? And I didn't really have time to go surfing anymore because uh, it's just takes up too much time and it's too difficult <laughs> it's too difficult to schedule the waves <laughs> it's okay you're 10 million times more important and maybe one day when you're older we can go surfing together deal huh deal okay cool back to mommy so inevitably it made more sense for me to just kind of stick with bouldering instead because it's indoors, I don't have to rely on the weather, and it just takes doesn't take up as much time. But what was also good was once the baby was out, I could climb with Marcia. And I was finally able to do this stupid one. Yes! <laughs> that's, that's genuine surprise. I didn't think I was gonna be able to do it. <laughs> I got that Marcia strength. Your girl is watching, you gotta perform, you know? But this is when I started to take it more seriously. I uh, went to twice a week instead. I got one of those finger boards so I can actually start powering up my fingers. And uh, yeah, they really work. I know you're supposed to be careful on them because you can get injured, but I always felt... Oh, look at that. Beefy as hell. I always felt like finger strength was, was what was really holding me back. Before I could hang for 10 seconds, now I could hold for 60 seconds, which I think is pretty good improvement but yeah took it more seriously did finger training started doing more bouldering kind of exercise it at home i was really really getting into it but i remember telling marcia like everyone has a different strength in in climbing and i felt like overhangs was my strength for sure but it makes you so that you just don't do the ones that aren't and i was telling marcia like you should get something for climbing all of the ones in a gym or like all of the same grade because Otherwise, you just naturally don't do them because no one wants to look dumb and fall. And as it turns out, a friend of mine told me in a gym, if you can climb all of the ones in a grade, you get ready for this, a pin. <laughs> I want that pin. <laughs> so jumping ahead to February 2023, this is me trying to get the, climb all the EQ, I think it's called, which is V5, V6. There was nine of them in total. I knew I was going to be able to do the overhang one. Easy peasy. This one was actually for me really hard because you have to get your left foot up super high and it feels super unnatural and weird. But once you get the hang of it, it's not that bad. But this was my arch nemesis. I could not climb this one. You have to heel hook and then you're just hanging off to this sloper thing. 
I might as well be hanging on to a waterfall, okay? I just couldn't get a grip on it. And I got really worried because I thought, f this is not, I'm not going to be able to do it because this one is just too difficult. That happens a lot with bouldering where even though it's the same grade, some, some won't just seem impossible. So I tried again and couldn't even do the start. <laughs> <laughs> I just couldn't get a grip on it. I felt like if I let go of my left hand, I'm just gonna fall. So of course, I just needed to brush it, right? That's the only issue. It makes it more texture, so the texture shows. This was it. I was gonna do it. Needed more chalk. I actually don't use chalk. I use I just uh, this is a little trade secret, but what you can use is G Fuel instead. Just get the G Fuel powder and you're good to go. Still can't do the start. <laughs> I was getting closer, but I thought it would be a good time to move on and do the other ones. I remember seeing someone do this one and I thought, oh, that will be so easy. And then you get up to it and you're like, oh, shit. <laughs> but as soon as you get your leg up, it's actually it's not it's not bad at all. Then we had this jumping one, which I didn't think I was going to be able to do. I just kept undershooting. I have to grab that big uh, red ball. But I got help with a friend of mine and he was like, I think you can totally do it. And that kind of gave me the confidence. And it felt so good to stick it. <laughs> this one was really fun. Uh, a little scary because you're not really standing on anything in the end. At least it feels like it. And you have to hope that you can grab it. So one thing about me is that I am extremely tall. Okay, I'm not tall. I'm 170. <laughs> 70, I'm 180. I'm 180. Which is kind of normal height. But in Japan, I am tall. <laughs> Why do you think I moved there? <laughs> but another thing uh, that I have advantage of is long arms. I got long arms. Apparently it's a thing where if you have longer arms than your own height, then you kind of have a little bit of an advantage. 188 and a half. 188 and a half. That's how tall I am. That's how you should have been. What happened? I told you I have long arms. <laughs> I told you. What do you mean I should have been? <laughs> what do you mean what happened? <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> so a lot of times what I can do in bouldering is just stretch a lot and that's all I have to do. Uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you gotta use your strength, right? I think what I am the worst at in bouldering is this wall, uh, the slab, which is tilted inwards. And it's more focused on balance. This one was ridiculously hard. It doesn't look like much, but this hold here, you can barely hold, it, it's nothing. I am mean before, but that's nothing. That's like holding butter. You're supposed to grab that one and get your right foot up to where my hand is. And that's how you progress. And I saw even the uh, person working there was struggling on this one. That's how hard it was. But me, remember me? Long arms. I realized if I really, really, really stretched with every inch of my body, I can just reach for the next hold. See, I could kind of reach it. Like the very tip of my finger could reach it. I thought it was hopeless. Like I wasn't going to get the EQ uh, V5, V6 pin that I wanted because of this one. But this kind of gave me some hope that it was possible. I love it. It doesn't look like it, but I remember feeling my entire back just being like... <laughs> I managed to grab it. Uh, and the end was terrifying. Look at my legs shaking. <laughs> <laughs> but I managed to do it and I started to feel like, oh shit, I could actually do it. I could get the V5, V6 pink. I want it. It's within my grasp. But of course, to do so, I have to climb this fucking white one. It's still struggling. I still couldn't do it. So I took another break from it just to clear up the last ones. This one was pretty easy. Uh... As I was saying, this one was pretty easy. <laughs> See, I don't even need the last two holds. Long arms. And then I just cleared up the last overhang. These ones I would be... I would hate before because I just didn't have the finger strength. But now I feel like I almost have too much finger strength. Just to get some more confidence, I climbed a harder grade. This is Ichidan, but... I still couldn't really do it. <laughs> to be fair, this gym grades a lot softer than other gyms in Japan. Which I like because big number sounds better. So this is technically a V7, V8, but it's more like a V5, 
I don't know, V4, maybe V3 <laughs> in Japan standard. And look, long arms, just reach for the end. Don't have to do any fancy moves. <laughs> so now I was feeling way more confident and I feel like, I, okay, I gotta be able to do this fucking one. Tried it again and this time, I don't know what I did differently. For some reason, my hand just felt like I got a grip on it and I was able to grab the next one. <laughs> oh, sometimes all you need is Gamba. And that was it. I was able to get my B5, E6 pin, climbed all the ones in the gym, and it felt like a really good end to my first year of bouldering. So yeah, that was my first year of climbing. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for letting me share. If you're looking to pick up climbing, I really recommend it. It's a super fun exercise. I love that it's social. I love that people support each other. It's the kind of sport where I feel like uh, a lot of beginners maybe are self-conscious because they're not you know, they're climbing lower grades and they feel silly or whatever. Everyone feels silly. <laughs> it's not just you. And even if you're watching the best, like pros, or you're watching someone beginner, it doesn't really matter because it's always fun to watch someone overcome obstacles. It's just that in bouldering, you know, seeing someone struggle with a grade and then being able to do it, I, no matter what difficulty, it's always fun to watch that. Yeah, that's just what I like about the sport. I look forward to trying to improve more next year. And, um, for anyone that commented that I should climb with Magnus Mitpe, you can delete that comment. I refuse to climb with Magnus unless he apologizes for being Norwegian. Interrupting today's sponsor, NordVPN. More VPN. Best VPN. The most VPN of VPNs. As you guys know, NordVPN doesn't just let you quickly connect to anywhere across the globe. Look at this. I'm in Japan. Boom. I'm in Bosnia and Herzog. Herzegovina? Jazoom. I'm in Ireland. Top of the morning to your little... I'm in Australia, right next to the kangaroos. How do you mean? That's how you sound like Australian. And you know, sometimes when you buy stuff online, prices are cheaper in different countries. Same product, same thing, just cheaper. Try it out. NordVPN also keeps you safe with amazing features like threat protections. Nowadays, antivirus software seems like they are the virus software. We all just pop out, oh, but there's me, man. I don't want to hear it. NordVPN just runs smoothly in the background keeping you safe, you don't even have to think about it. With features like threat protection, protecting your downloads, trackers, malicious ads, and protecting you from bad websites. You're not going to bad websites, are you? Okay, as long as you have NordVPN, just okay. Okay, picture this. You're at PewDiePie headquarters. This is a real scenario. And you're about to meet the big man himself. But the secretary, Edgar, tells you that you have to wait five minutes. So you think, okay, I'll whip out my phone. I'll just connect to the public Wi-Fi. What is this? Pro Wi-Fi, no password. Okay, I'll connect to that. And boom! I knock out the door. I jump out and go, ha! I got everything. All your data. All your stuff. You fool. And I slap you across the face and I go, you should have used NordVPN. You failed the test. And then I take your face and I just get up. <laughs> Anyway, you should always use NordVPN when you connect to a public Wi-Fi to protect. So right before I go, I'll, I'll say, hey, you get one more chance. Go to nordvpn.com slash PewDiePie, use the link, and get a huge discount and four additional months for free. You're welcome. Anyway, thanks for NordVPN for sponsoring this video.